Hello everybody, my name is Max Herman and I'm here today with Dimitri Setrakian, co-founder of Great Gain Systems, to talk about Apache Ignite, a new and exciting incubating Apache project. Hi Dimitri. Hello Max. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you're related to the Apache Ignite project? Sure. So my name is Dimitri and I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Great Gain Systems and I currently also run the engineering department there. I also play a role of uh, chairman of a Podlink project management committee at Apache Ignite. Since we've donated our source code uh, to Apache in the fall of last year, we've been undergoing uh, an incubation process there. So in October 2014, Gridgain donated the open source edition of its in-memory data fabric to the Apache Software Foundation. Can you please explain the reasons behind that decision? Well, sure. Uh, even before the October of last year, Gridgain was based uh, on open core model. Uh, we had an in-memory data fabric edition, which was based on open source, uh, licensed under Apache uh, 2.0. And we also had a commercial edition, which added feature to the open source editions, uh, edition like security, data center replication, rolling upgrades, and actually uh, several others. Uh, so the main uh, driver behind our decision, one of the main drivers behind our decision to donate our source code to Apache was of course uh, the, uh, to ensure the continued uh, growing adoption of in-memory technologies and of course the long-term viability of our source code. But the most important reason for me personally was to actually fully embrace the open source uh, development model and to get a, a healthy and growing community around the project, and we're already seeing the effects of that. Now, many data experts are already familiar with in-memory data grids, but the term in-memory data fabric is fairly new. Can you briefly explain the difference between the two? Sure, Max. It is actually a very good question. Uh, whenever I do presentations uh, about various memory computing topics, I generally find that uh, the audience actually is quite familiar with what in uh, distributed caching is, in memory caching is. But very few know what a data grid is. And if you really think about it, the data grid is actually can be viewed as a distributed cache with some extra features uh, on top of it. So if you already know what a distributed cache is, it, there is a good chance you know a fair amount about data grids as well. Some of the must-have features uh, for a data grid probably would include uh, distributed in memory transactions, uh, distributed queries. Uh, Apache Ignite, for example, has a very fairly feature-rich SQL support, which is NC99 compliant. Uh, and also collocation of compute and data. Uh, now, if you look at in-memory data fabrics, in-memory data fabrics actually represent a newer generation of products, which would reside between your application layer and your uh, uh, data store layer. And uh, essentially, the main pur purpose of a memory data fabric is to improve uh, performance and scalability of your application. You can view a memory data fabric as a collection of independent but yet very well integrated components, uh, all of them covering some use case for a memory computing. For example, if you look at Apache Ignite, for instance, it does support, of course, in memory data grid uh, as uh, one of its main components. But it also has uh, advanced clustering capabilities. It has in-memory compute grid, uh, in-memory streaming and CEP capabilities, a service grid, actually a fairly cool concept that uh, supports uh, cluster sing singleton, and a distributed in-memory file system, which is Hadoop compliant, HDFS, uh, Hadoop file system compliant, and uh, together with uh, in-memory Hadoop accelerator. So as you see, a, a data grid is just one of the component, uh, components uh, and in-memory data fabric provides.